number one, Pick Pick Maxim here with episode 13. Unlucky 13 is Shadow of the Colossus. In the last episode, the story unfolded, everybody. Um, some, some people are coming here, and we don't know why. We don't know who they are. But, uh, you know, if we keep killing these guys, maybe we'll find out soon enough. Hey, won't we? So in this episode, we fight Colossus number 13. But for the first time, I think I might speed this up. Because I, I believe Colossi 13 takes a bit to get to. So, we'll see you when you get there. tons, making him officially the largest colossi in the game. Kind of strange, you know, that he's not that he's not even the last boss. Now, this colossi brings up the whole thing about in this game about morality and your choice. And is this really the right thing you should be doing? Because look at it. It's not even batting an eye at us. And honestly, throughout the entire fight, he doesn't do anything. Okay, now what you're going to want to do, though, first, is you're going to want to shoot the air sacs. That's what they are. They're air sacs that are on its stomach. Now, I'm not exactly the best shot, so it usually takes me a couple of tries to hit them. You're gonna, the best advice is to, like, aim ahead. Aim ahead of the... Aim ahead of them. Like, see, I got the first two right there. Look, see, he's not even attacking. I don't... I believe he has no way of attacking at all. Okay. Yeah. I I usually have trouble with the with the last one, and that's the one like. See, each time we hit it, hit one, it go it go. Phalanox gets a little lower to the ground. Watch out for the rock. Mind the rocks, everybody, because I'm not gonna lie, there are a lot of them around here that can mess you up if you're not careful. But I I can't believe how beautiful this thing is. 
Okay, everybody. This is when the fight begins. Now, Phalanx is like a mixture between a dragon and like a sandworm, if you will. Because he goes, he goes underground. And what you're gonna want to do is jump on crap. Wait, I, I, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I think it's the first time we ever had to do that. Because no, having aggro in this fight is really cool. Like, this, this fight was like a mixture of so many different things that I love. Like, this part always reminded me of Indiana Jones. I don't... I know, I know this is a game. It's not like Indiana Jones ever jumping on top of a giant dragon-like thing. But, you know, it, that's what it reminded me of, to be honest. It was always really cool. You wanna, you're gonna want to get up to his wing. And jump, and then grab on. Jump, jump up if you want, if you will. Now, he's not a hard boss to take down because he doesn't really fight. He doesn't struggle. He doesn't He doesn't do anything. He's just kind of minding his own business. And he takes off. Now, you don't want to fall off him because then you got to go through all that all over again. Okay, now, he has three main weak points. Each under these flaps. I think this one is the main one. I see he will do like a couple things to try to shake you up. But other than that, he's got no form of defense against you. Like he'll do flips. And honestly, it's just a, an amazing boss fight. But this is this is the main this is what I look forward to when playing this game. the way it looks, the way it plays, the, it's just everything about this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're closed. Okay, when those close, that means he's going down. And by going down, I mean he's going into the sand, as you can see. Now, well, you're going to want to try to jump away from it so that you don't get hurt. Unlike that, because I just got hurt. Oh, he's going to stand on the ground for a bit. So he's like a mixture of Avion and Dirge, if that makes any sense. And there's Aggro, I'll trust his team. But I love that mix. It's just... I'm gonna gush over this boss, because I just love this boss so much. It's my, it's my favorite, and a lot of other people's favorites. I mean, it was the first time in the game when I ever really looked at something and just went, Wow, look at that. That's something you, you will never see in any other game. Hey, where, where the hell is he? He's coming up. You know, just try to ride around a bit. There he is. Now, if, you, if you're lucky, you can get them before he gets out. And I missed, so... Like, because I'm not a good shot, so... I think I just got the middle one. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool beans. I think I hit the back one as well. Yes, I did. Far distance, but maybe I can hit that one. Oh, no, I did not. I missed. But this music... I, I know I, I've said... I think I said a couple things about the music, but I haven't really gone into detail. This music is fantastic. I love this music. It usually it fits the bosses so well, especially this one. You know, it's mysterious, but also very common at the same time. But like, you don't really know what it's, this thing's up to. You don't know what it's thinking. And it's just a very majestic thing to look at. Like, honestly, I could just sit back and watch this thing fly around without a care in the world until we pop along. You know, then things get start to get urgent with this music. Oh, he's turning. But I love how he'll skid across the ground like that. Very cool. Oh, no. Crap. I probably could have gotten closer. And also, I just love the fights with aggro. There's, I think, I think these are, it's the only, it's the 
three, if I can recall, that he can even go to be with. I mean, you need him for Bassaron, you need him for um, Dirge, and you need him for Fa Fa this one, Phalanax. And each one is probably my favorite, other than Bassaron. Because Bassaron's annoying as shit. I hope he's turning. That son of a bitch. I love you, Fallon. You can't do this to me. You gotta, keep, you gotta stay focused. What's he doing? Is he going under? Oh no, he was just skidding across the bottom. He was just skidding. I thought he was going under. I was about to I was gonna get really pissed. I was like, ah, son of a bitch. Oh man, he's swerving, he's swerving a lot this time. Okay. Okay, we're gonna meet him at the pass. Okay, we're gonna run him. Be safe, Agro. Alright, just gotta wait till he's flying. I always found it funny that he's 13. And, you know, a lucky 13 and all that. I don't know, I just thought it was a, a little funny little coincidence. Not that he's unlucky, but... You know, just the unluckiest number just happens to be my favorite boss. I think these should take about one or two hits, if I'm correct. Oh, what that needs more. Alright, there we go. Oh, he's going sideways. Oh, he's doing a switch. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, now he is. Okay, let's get to the back and try to finish him off. Ah oh, man, yeah, we gotta do it one more time, everybody. Yeah, he's he's gonna go. He's going under, everybody. Okay, let's just jump off from here. I don't think we'll die from this height. No, just a lot of damage. Oh boy. Agro, what are you doing? No, no, Agro. Oh, oh, holy crap, he flew. Agro, are you okay, buddy? Oh no, he's limping. Don't worry, Agro. You can pull it together. We've been through worse. You fought a giant sandworm. Well, he is kind of a giant sandworm, but you know, he's not. He's not that kind of giant sandworm. He's the flying giant sandworm. Yeah, Agro, what's up? Just waiting for Phalanax to come out. What are you doing? Oh, I'm standing on him. Let's go. That's kind of cool. I never showed off these tricks, but there, there are a couple of things you can do. They don't really add much, but no, they're, they're cool nonetheless. Okay, he's coming up. Let's see if we can do one of these, one of these tricks. down. Okay, that's... T uh, maybe we can get the third one as well. Yeah. Oh, I missed it? Well, alright. Okay, got it. <laughs> as soon as I said I missed it, I'm like, oh, I got it. Cool. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's behold this wonderful beast one more time because this is going to be the last phase. One or two more hits and he is gone. Unfortunately. I mean, I really like this one. I always feel bad when I kill it because, you know, he's not harming anyone. I mean, I can't 
Okay, guys, here we are. Final phase. Let's finish him off once. Oh crap. Let's finish him off. He's looping down, people. He's looping down! Okay, there it is. Look how amazing that looks just on top of him. Body sway and just just fantastic. I, feel, I really feel bad killing you, feel killing you, man. But it's for the good of the game because if we can't kill you, we can't complete the game. So you know, tough cookies. There he is. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa! Oh, crap! Oh, the tentacles still got us. Even if we glitched the game, the tentacles still get us. I did not plan that, anybody. I did not plan that. That just... That just happened. Wasn't expect. I don't even. All my in all my time playing this game, the game has never glitched on me until that moment. I really, you know, we've had some bad camera before, but I've never had a glitch like that happen to me. And the tentacles still freaking got us too. Those are some persistent tentacles. I'll give them that much. I would have laughed if we were under the floor still. That would have caused a lot of problems. Oh boy.